Well, hello, everybody. It's Brother Todd with your Victory Minute, and I hope y'all all having a good day. I just sitting out here in the truck watching this rain and uh, enjoying myself. I've, I've been a storm watcher all my life. and uh, I love just set out in the rain. I, I can think. Uh, I get out to myself and uh, <laughs> I found out a long time ago, you set out in the rain, ain't no, ain't nobody wants to walk up and bother you. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> sorry. Isn't it? Uh, anyhow, I pulled up and I was thinking about the this victory minute i've been thinking about this victory minute for so long I, I don't even know if i can say everything i need to say i've been studying on it since last night i here's the evening i was, I was coming around one of the ponies had got out and i was putting them up and i was walking by an old place and when i was a boy it was the prettiest place in rosser now i'm old people's they've been gone to heaven a long time and it's all grown up i thought well it's a different time isn't it the show looks different. I, I thought to myself, I said, well, that old time's over. It's time for somebody else to take a new, something, do something new there. Uh, behold, I do a new thing. And that's what needs to happen on that place. Anyway, I got to think about what time it is, how the times can change in life. And I got to studying on the fact that I spent the last two, now this will be three victory minutes, really talking about making a choice. And uh, I, know, I know there's at least one of y'all out there that you haven't, difficulty making a choice i think it's probably who i'm talking to is probably a choice of, to come to christ or not to really yield your life and let christ change you and uh really trust him and uh but then again it it may be just you've got a different there's something going on in life you don't know really what to do anyway i was i was thinking about that uh that place i was walking back up towards the house and I was thinking about Ecclesiastes chapter three, you know that it was a it was a time for something new to happen there. And anyway, I, I got thinking about this time to everything under heaven. You know, there's a time to be born, there's a time to die, there's 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 a time to time to laugh, there's time to cry. You know, it's there in Ecclesiastes three. It's it's very poetic, but it just talks about the reality of life. And uh, sometimes you don't know which choice to make. Sometimes you know you can be in a place where you don't even want to make the choice that you see coming. You know, one place it says it's time to there's time to gather together and there's time to, to scatter abroad, time to let loose, time to bind, time to let go. And uh, you say, you know, Brother Todd, I don't, maybe I'm, maybe you know, maybe you don't know whether you're at a time to hold on to something or let it go. You know, I don't know. I tell you one thing that'll help you is if you can figure out what season you're in, you can figure out which choice to make. Seasons in life change, just like the. I'm sitting out here right now. Temperature gauge there says it's 72 degrees outside. That, you come off the summer, we just come off of them. Of course, we're in this rain, but 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 fall's coming. Fall's got its own beauties to it. Ain't nothing like them, them oak trees turning red and yellow, and that kind of thing. Ain't nothing like them turning green in the spring. Ain't nothing like them standing out there almost stark naked in the wintertime and uh, snow on them or, or just an old gray sky. You say, preacher, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Solomon finished off saying about what the times there are by saying everything's beautiful in its time. Everything's beautiful in its season. Some of the most hardest things in the world to do is to know when to let go of something. But it could be at the at the deathbed of a saint that's gone home and life is done. They've died in God's perfect will. And they've lived, they've laughed, they've loved, you love them, they love you. It stays with you. Uh, you know, I can let somebody go and still love them. I can let somebody go and still love them, but recognize it's, it's, it's in that time. And that way my life doesn't get stopped. I've had people come to me, they'll come back to church and they'll go, Brother Todd, I, I hadn't been in church in 25 years. And I said, what happened? Well, my mama died. You know, when you, if your mama's lived and passed, and if you're, if I'm, if, if maybe you're that person right now, you know, she doesn't want you, she didn't want you to be crippled by her life. She wants you to be blessed by her life. And yeah, it's a different season, but, and you can love them, and at the same time, let them go into, into their time, into their season. It's a beautiful thing when it's in its time. Uh, you know, love, one of them things, lets us know we're not evolved beings. It lets us know we're not. We're not just the top of the food chain. It lets us know we're not just um, monkeys that got lucky. 
because when we love, we love outside of time. And we, we love outside of the reality of them being here. Uh, if, you know, if you follow what I'm saying, you know, if, if all you are is an accident, you can't live outside of three dimensions. But if you can love something that's not even there, that at least puts you in a fourth dimension. So you, you can't just be accident. Anyhow, the, the reality that in that time, when you know what season it is, you know when to let go. I've walked up to a lot of saints, people I love, something be happening with them. And sometime, I don't know if it's the Lord lets you know or you just gut feeling or whatever. But I've told a lot of them, I said, well, now we know this. this I said, uh, this be the last time I ever get talked to you. And usually they'll say back, I know. And we can walk out of there and let go. And typically when, I, when I've done that, even though we still love and it's still there, why? It's the season. It's, it's knowing what to do where you're at and recognizing that things don't always stay the same. If your kids are not, if your kids are, have, have, have passed an adolescent age, and let's say all of them are teenagers now, You've got to live in that time. You're not, you can't go back to when they're three years old. You can't go back to making every decision for them, okay? You better recognize, like with a child, there is a, there is a time where a, where a child can, I don't want to use the word imprint, but, but they, will, they will take what you say at straight face value, okay? And then, then they'll move into a time, usually about seven years old or so, where, they, where you can really impress them but they will challenge a right and a wrong. They will challenge a, in their mind, is this the best way? They think God te- does that so they can start making choices. First thing child's got to learn is obedience. Next thing child's got to learn is how to make a good choice. And third thing's got to happen is child's got to be able to hold a good course. And if you've got kids that's 13 years old or older, that's all you're doing with them. And with technology now, it may even be lower in that age where, where all you can kind of do is kind of keep them in the bumper. So have my hands way over here i'm sorry and uh if you're trying to raise a child that's 16 years old like he's a three-year-old child you're gonna mess them up same thing if you're trying to raise a three-year-old like he's 16 guys three-year-olds need to know what you tell them to do they don't need a thousand choices say brother todd i want them to i want them to be able to make good choices they don't even know how yet they need that's why god gave them parents they need they need you to, we do a deal here called Faith Path, and we, we don't really even start it big till after a child turns three. And uh, so I said, why don't you do it for younger kids? All, all child needs to learn, all child needs to know till they're three years old is yes and no. I'm just telling you. And you say, oh, preacher, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling you, I know more than you think. <laughs> I don't mean that to sound cocky. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you, you can't, uh, a lot of y'all, you give all them kids choices so you can stay popular with them anyway. You ask them, what do you want to do? Do you want to go home? They tell you no, and then you get mad at them. Well, you ask them silly question. Walk out, kid playing with a bunch of his kids. Do you, you, you ready to go home? Why? So it can be his choice and you don't, you're not the bad person. Cotton picking people, you're a parent. Anyway, I didn't mean to get off on all that. You got to recognize your season. All right? And if you can recognize that season, you can act. I know I'm rambling about here, so let me wrap this up. The choice for the season is in the season. And recognize this, they're going to change. And there's decisions you might need to make towards your family that aren't easy, but you know they're the best ones for the season you're in, and you need to get it done. If you need to change that job for the season you're in, then get it done. Because that season ain't going to stay. It ain't going to hold. Them kids ain't going to stay the same age they are. That call to get saved ain't going to stay there forever. You need to operate in the season you're in. If you can see what season you're in. If God's calling you to be saved, you're in a season of opportunity. It is time to seize it. And it's time to make the choice that you know you need to make for the place that you're at. Say, Brother Todd, what about you? I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a season of holding. I'm in a season of building for a different group. I'm in a season of, of building for those that's coming behind me. 
And what I got to do right now is I have to hold. I have to gather together. I have to hold. I have to push. I, I can't let go. Okay. Uh, it's harder to hold. The older you get, your mind don't work as well. Your body's not as strong. But you know what? There, there's a time for holding on. There's a time for pushing through. There's a time to push out for bigger things. And when you know what it is, then you can do it. It's not time to stop. It's not time to coast. Though that's what you're tempted to do. The older you get, you recognize that it's not the season. It's not the season to let go yet. It's the season to hold tight. It's the season to push on. You follow me? Anyway, I know that's rambling about. I hope it helps. If you're trying to really make a choice and you don't know which way to really go, back up. And find out from the Lord what season you're in. Take a real look at it. You may not like it, but it can be beautiful in its time. In fact, it will be if you can recognize where you are. Well, hope you have a good day and hope this isn't too too much of a mystical sounding uh, victory minute today. You hold in there and uh, and God will direct you. He'll let you see where you're at. And when you know where you're at, then you can know what to do. All right. Love you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.